We're over the knuckle. We got a weird knuckle swatch going on there. There it is twice. So you can see it twice by itself. Just know there's the brush hairs in it. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got Friday favorites and foodies for you today and I have got a ton to share this week. Last week I didn't have quite a lot to show you, but this week I have probably too much to show you. And I wanted to know if this side of my face looks a little strange. I have a migraine today, so when I have a migraine, it's calmed down at this exact moment, but when I have a migraine, it like makes this side of my face really strange. Like my eye sort of swells and waters and it's just a whole situation. So if I look a little funny, if my makeup looks a little different on this side, that's what's going on. So anyway, lots to talk about, so let's jump into it. On my nails this week, I'm still wearing the polishes from the Wet n Wild Lost in the Wildflowers collection. So these are the Mega Last Salon nail colors. This one is in Poppy Culture, and this one is Cherry Blossom on top. I love them both. I think they're so pretty. Um, they've lasted well. I have had to redo a couple of them because they're, they're, they're definitely those polishes that if they start to chip, they like chip in a whole big section. So, you know, it's not like they, some of them I have a little bit of tip wear, but if they chip, they'll do the big ginormous chip. For eyes this week, I have a bunch of things to share. This first thing is kind of a funny thing to share for an eye favorite, but it's also kind of a face favorite too. This is the, I got this from Octoly. This is the Pure Glow Together Gradient Matte Shimmer Bronzer. So I have been using this as a bronzer this week, but also I've been using this on my eyes pretty much every single day. Like I can't think of a day that I haven't used this. Mostly kind of as transition sort of a color, but one day I was really needing to get out of the door really quick. So I just did like a base on my eye and then just did like a smoky eye with this. It was like really easy and worked really well. I kind of concentrate on like the the ones down here that are a little bit darker or the ones up here that are a little, that are a little bit darker. But I mean, this is beautiful as a bronzer, but it's really beautiful on the eyes too. So it's kind of one of those like do it all sort of products. And I love it. Like it has a really nice glow to it. It reminds me a lot of NARS's Laguna where it's just kind of that like sort of um, medium tone bronzer, not too warm, not too cool, but then it has a little bit of a sheen to it. It's beautiful. I love it. And like I said, I've been using it on my face as my bronzer, but also pretty much every single day on my eyes as well. And you guys know that I love Merle Norman and they are releasing their new summer collection May 1st. So they'll be available in boutiques May 1st. So they sent me some things from that collection to try out and I've been loving several things from it, but I have a couple to show you today. So first off, this is the eyeshadow palette in Miami Spice. I'm pretty much wearing every eye thing I'm going to tell you about, but it's kind of hard to see them all because I tried to put them all on my eyes and sort of layer them, but I am wearing this on my eyes today, but I do have a picture. I think I put a picture on Instagram. I know I put a picture on Snapchat when I was wearing this, but this is just such a pretty summery looking palette. It's just very warm toned. Again, I had a lot of warm toned favorite this, favorites this week. I don't know. I just can't get out of my warm toned rut. But this one is just so pretty. The other one has, the other one from the collection, the other eyeshadow palette has a really pretty blue in it that I love. But this one I think is my favorite of the three. And these are shadows that like first swipe, they like might not look all that impressive, but they build on themselves really, really nicely. They have that, they're not like sleek, eyeshadows because those are like super duper they build on themselves but they're moving towards that direction where they have that sort of a texture that really just builds on itself really nicely so this one is just a really pretty like sunsetty sort of a palette we're over the knuckle we got a weird knuckle swatch going on there but i love it i have the um kind of warm color in my crease and then i have the kind of like golden that middle shade on the inner corner of my eyes not right here this is a separate um highlight but right there and then i have the brow bone highlight the brow bone highlight is uh, it's so pretty i love it so if you're looking for just kind of like a sunsetty sort of an eye palette i think this is a great option the only thing about it is i anytime i wore this this week i brought in a darker color from my outer corner so either i would use 
the bronzer um, to kind of darken out my outer corner or if I wanted it even more intense, I would bring in kind of like a chocolatey sort of color. So if you want maybe a little bit more dimension with your eye look, you'll probably have to bring in a darker shade with it, but I think it's really nice. And I can't remember if I've already shared this combo with you guys or not. So if I have, I apologize. I'm sharing it again because I wore it again this week and every time I put these together I'm just like blown away because they're beautiful together really pretty by themselves but together they're even more amazing so first is the Jordana made to last liquid eyeshadow in not a wink pink and then this is the L'Oreal infallible shadow in amber rush these are both amazing but layered together even more incredible I did um, a review video on these Jordana shadows and also the um, liquid lipsticks, liquid lipsticks from them. Um, so I, I made two swatches so I can layer Amber Rush on top. But anyway, there it is twice. So you can see it twice by itself, but I'm about to layer something over it. So this is just so pretty. It's like an intense metallic gorgeous rose gold. It's got some shimmer in it, which I think is really, really beautiful. These do take a second, like maybe 15 to 30 seconds to set. So let me let this set and I'm going to layer this on top. Okay. So here is Amber Rush by itself. Already amazing. And there it is layered with not a wink pink. <sighs> These are so just shiny and metallic and amazing. So one day I wore these together and kind of blended it up into my crease just a little bit. And then I met that with the bronzer in my crease. So kind of crease and transition area bronzer. And then this on my lid just kind of blended into it. And it was just such an easy eye look, but so metallic and statement at the same time. I think these are like a magic winning combo. And I feel like I've already talked this thing to death, but I pretty much wore it every single day this week. So this was my blush favorite. This is the Benefit Dandelion Dew. So this is a little, like liquid form of dandelion and it's just beautiful. I do have some leftover shimmer on my hand from the Jordana liquid um, eyeshadow. So just know if you see glitter on my hand, it's not from Dandelion Dew. This is pretty much a satin matte, sort of a baby pink, but it's amazing. It's so amazing. It's pigmented. It blends into the skin really nicely. It wears really well throughout the day. I do find that this wears well by itself, but it wears even better with something layered over it. And it looks really nice with Dandelion, like the regular blush color layered over it. So, just kind of know that about it. If you want the longest wear with it, if you're more like me, I'm combo oily. If you want the longest wear, I would put a powder over it, but I mean, it's just gorgeous. I am wearing it today, but I've got some highlight going on. So we're about to talk about this highlight. So just here it is on my face, but with a lot of highlight too. So we're about to get to that. Okay. So highlights this week. I also got this from Octoly. This is the Pure Cosmetics Moonlight Glow Strobe Highlight Palette. So the funny thing about this, there are brush hairs in this, so it, it just, it's not going to look, I mean, just, it's not going to look that pretty. So just know there's some brush hairs in it because I've been using my, <laughs> my e.l.f. small stipple brush, which works really, really well for this. So when I first used this, I thought, oh, okay, it's going to be kind of like subtle, sort of like the Hourglass Mineral Veil Powders. Is that what it's? No, not I would think Mineral Veil Primer. No, what's it called? They're powders. What are those even called? Anyway, you know what I'm talking about. But they have just kind of that subtle look on the skin. I thought that this was gonna be like that until I went and looked in a different mirror and I saw my face looking super highlighted. This is all I have on my cheekbones. I mean, so the thing with these is they start out kind of subtle and I feel like even in a swatch, they're not going to look like this. I don't know. They, they start out subtle, but good grief. I mean, they build on themselves and they really give you that like dewy sort of wet highlighty look. So if you like that look on the skin, which I really like it, I think it's really pretty. I think you would like this. So just know first pass, like it looks more subtle, but I mean, if you keep going with it and put just a couple more layers and I was just stippling it on. So stippling on the layers and I have the two 
lighter colors on today. So if you just kind of keep stippling and layering, you gotta get to some like, whoa, <laughs> highlight situation. So I think it's really pretty. This was kind of a surprising favorite for me because I kind of heard some mixed reviews about it and I'm not a big cream blush or a highlight fan, but I really do think this is so pretty. It's beautiful by itself, but it's also really nice layered. But like I said today, I just have it by itself and, and we got a lot of highlight going on. And I've also been loving this Wet n Wild highlighter. This is also from the Summer Collection. This is the Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in Precious Petals. And I'm actually only wearing this on the inner corners of my eyes today. This one may have rub rubbed off because my eye was watering earlier. Whatever. So you may just be able to see it right here. But anyway, I wore this on my cheekbones this week as well, but also on my eyes and just a bunch of different ways. It is just glowy and amazing and gorgeous. I have a whole review on this um, collection, which is awesome. I love it. I love it. Wet n Wild's collections, like their limited edition collections, are just so fun. I mean, look at that. Gorgeous. It's like in between a champagne and a rose gold. Incredible. I love it. Yes. It's amazing. I know that these have been going quick. So I know it's like a frenzy to find these collections at all. And then if you can find like one with all the products on the display is a challenge too. So if you can track this down, it's really, really beautiful. And then a couple lip favorites this week. So first off is one from the Merle Norman Summer Collection. So at first I was thinking I was really loving the coral color from this collection, which is also really beautiful. And I do really love that. But then I put this one on and completely fell in love with it. This is one of their lip glazes, and this is in Cherry Crush. So I am wearing this today, but I'm also wearing it with the next thing I'm about to talk about, so you're kind of seeing a sort of a combo lip here, but Cherry Crush is such a pretty color. So these lip glazes remind me of the Revlon Lip Butters, where they're really glossy, and they just have that kind of like easy lip look to them where like one layer will give you kind of a more sheer glossy look, but then you can apply more and get kind of this look where it's less sheer, but still just really glossy and looks sort of effortless. You know what I mean? Where you can do like, just like that, you know, either your bronzer as an eyeshadow or just that Miami Spice sort of a palette. So that kind of like summery sort of eye look and then put on just a glossy lip like this, and it just looks like an effortless summer sort of makeup, you know? I just love it. But what I really love about this, my favorite thing about this, is the color. It reminds me of like a punch sort of red. Like it has that kind of corally pinky color to it, where it's still pretty much a red, but it just reminds me of punch. You know what I mean? I think, I think a color named punch would have matched this. I don't know how like exciting that would have been, but it looks like punch to me, <laughs> but I just love it. I think it's so pretty. I just love the effortless look that it has on the lips. The other favorite is back to the Wet n Wild Summer Collection again. So this is one of their metallic liquid lipsticks. This is in the shade Peony Express. So I have this just right on the middle part of my lips. And this is such a beautiful color. I really do like these. Um, if you kind of want to hear like more of my thoughts on them and see all the colors on my lips, you can check out my review video because I go over all that in that video. But this one was definitely a favorite this week. It's, I don't know, it's like it's metallic, but it's really kind of, I mean, it's metallic. Looking at it in a swatch, it's metallic. But if you don't apply a ton of it on your lips, it really is like a pretty kind of like effortless look and a pretty easy sort of a lip look but I love it by itself and I really like it layered with other things. It's just so beautiful. So it's a pink, but then it has quite a bit of like a gold shift to it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yes, it's beautiful. I really like these, but this was definitely the standout for me. All right, guys, so that wraps up all my favorites for this week. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did, and let me know down below what you are loving this week or maybe not so much loving. Let me know your weekend plans or any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.